Jesse here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new, if this is your first time here. Thanks for joining me. I'd love it if you would take a second and click that subscribe button so that you never miss a video. I post new budgeting and lifestyle content every single week here on my channel. Today's video is going to be the cash envelope stuffing for the budget for the fourth week of October. So we're wrapping up October. I sat down and filmed my budget overview yesterday, so you would have seen this video. If you missed it, I will link it in a card above. Um, just kind of breaking down what my plan was for the week. I then went ahead and figured out how much cash I was going to need on this cash envelope breakdown page of my budget by paycheck workbook. So I decided I needed $360. I went to the bank and picked that cash up. So I have it here and we're going to stuff our cash envelopes in our sinking funds today. So I said I needed $360. I have already given my husband his spending money, so you will not see that today. So that means I should have $320 here. I'm just going to quickly count that up and make sure that's what I have. 50, 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 315, 320. That is indeed what I have. So I'm just going to lay this out here up at the top. I have three fifties. Let's see here. Do it like this. Three fifties. I should have eight twenties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight twenties. And two fives. So that will go here at the top. Zoom out just a smidge. I'm going to keep my budget by paycheck workbook handy here so that I can check things off as I go. I've already done my husband spending money so we'll go ahead and check that off. And I'm going to pull in my cash envelope wallet which is from Conscious Wallet. I've been using and loving this for a while now. Um, I have the Conscious Wallet linked down below. Full disclosure, I was sent this wallet for review. I didn't pay for it with my own money, but I would in a heartbeat. I really, really like it for an all-encompassing, like, cash wallet sort of starter kit. It comes with the wallet, the wrist strap, and then it also comes with... 12 plastic cash envelopes and some tracking sheets to keep track of your transactions if you choose to do it that way. So I really do like it. So I'm going to keep this handy. I also have my accordion folder where I keep my sinking funds. So when we get to my sinking funds, I'll pull that in. So I'm pretty much all set and ready to go. Everything I use in this video will be linked down below. So we're going to start out with eating out money. I've budgeted $40 for that. So I'm going to flip to my eating out envelope, which is here. And we are going to add two 20s to this envelope today. So that is my eating out money done. I skipped right over personal money because I'm actually not giving myself personal money this week. Um, my spending got a little out of control a couple of weeks ago, so I'm still trying to kind of make up for that. Um, pretty much I've already spent my personal money for the month, so I'm not giving myself any more personal money today. Um, next up we have gas, which is also going to be $40. So I've got my gasoline envelope here, and we're going to add two 20s to this envelope as well. This will just be to fill up my gas tank. I'm 
and that takes care of gas. And lastly, for my cash envelopes, we have miscellaneous, which is here, and we're going to do $40 there as well. And this cash will just go to cover anything else that might come up throughout the week. So we skipped out on personal. I didn't do personal money this week. I filled gasoline, eating out, and miscellaneous. The only other envelope I have here is my two bank envelope. So if at any point throughout the week I want to do spending in one of these cash categories, but I'm not able to use cash for whatever reason, what I will do is I will swipe my debit card or the credit card that I use uh, and pay off every week. And then I will just take the cash from this envelope, stick it in my two bank envelope to be deposited in the bank to cover that transaction. So that is it for my cash envelopes. Now we're gonna move into sinking funds. So I do do my sinking funds in cash. Um, I keep them, as I mentioned, in this accordion folder, which has a tab for each of my sinking funds in there. And behind the tab, I keep the fund as well as a little index card to keep track of the comings and goings of that fund. So this is a phenomenal way to do it. Rather than having a ton of different envelopes, I keep it all in one place. It works out great for me. I really like this system. And I love this accordion folder because it has a flat bottom. So it'll stand up on its own, as you can see. Makes it real easy to kind of rifle through, pick out what I need, and I don't have to worry about it like falling over every five seconds. So I'm going to keep this kind of off to the side. And we will go ahead and fill our funds. So the first one is car maintenance, and I'm going to be adding $50 to my car maintenance Fund, which I currently have $262 in my car maintenance fund, and we're going to be adding $50 today. So, all right, so we're going to add $50 today for a total of $312, and we're just going to add a $50 bill. So, I'm going to tuck that in here. And then anytime that I add money or take money out of a sinking fund, I always count the fund just to make sure that the totals add up. So let's go ahead and count this. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So $312 as anticipated. So this will go right back into my accordion folder here behind the car maintenance tab and we're all set for another day all right it's done okay next we have haircuts so again i'll just go into my accordion folder behind the tab marked haircuts pull out my fund which currently has 25 dollars in it we are going to add another $25 today for a total of 50 so I'm just going to add a 20 and a 5 20 40 45 50 and that'll go back behind the haircuts tab next up we have home maintenance which is going to get $50 today so we will just pull out home maintenance, which currently has $25 in it. So we are going to add 50 more today for a total of 75. Let's 
50, 60, 75. And that'll go right back behind home maintenance. And that will just cover any sort of home maintenance projects if we decide we want to paint or if we need a new furnace filter or that sort of thing. That's what that fund is for. Next up we have school expenses, which I'm going to add $25 to today. And our school expenses fund is for anything school related, whether it be back to school clothes or school activities or that sort of thing. So it's got $25. We are adding 25 more today for a total of $50, which is super easy to count. $20, 40, 45, 50. Perfect. That takes care of that. And lastly, I have extra, which is just a little sinking fund that I have for anything extra that comes up or anything I decide that I want to use it for in the future. It currently has $50. We're going to add 50 more today for a total of 100 So real easy peasy this week. Not a lot of real hard mental math, which is nice because you guys know I'm not the best at that. <laughs> So that's just going to go back behind the extra tab. That takes care of my sinking funds. So I can go ahead and close this guy back up. This will go into my safe for safekeeping until I need to pull it out either for um, the sake of using one of these funds or to add more money. I always keep it in my safe so I don't have to worry about it coming up missing or anything terrible happening to it, that sort of thing. So that takes care of that. And that is it for my cash envelope stuffing for the week. Super quick and easy. All right, you guys. So that takes care of my cash envelope stuffing for the week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please take a second, give it a thumbs up so that I know. I would love it if you would leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you are doing wrapping up your October budget. Did you stick to your budget? Were you over? I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!